Hi friends, this morning we're at the park and I'm going to show you how to make bubble snakes. So here's what you'll need. You'll need an old water bottle and I cut off the bottom so it has a hole. You will need three cups of water in a container. And since I'm at the park, I already measured it out and put it here. You will need an old sock, something that you don't mind cutting. You will need some dish soap, one quarter cup, some scissors, and I have a little whisk to mix the soap with the water. So here's what we're gonna do first. Let me bring this camera here, see if you can see what I'm doing. So let's open up the water, and we are going to measure out one quarter cup of dish soap. Okay, there we go, and then pour it in with your water. Look, it's nice and green. After that, you will use your whisk and mix it together. Whisk, whisk, whisk. You're gonna make it nice and bubbly. This is the bubble solution. This is what you're going to use to make your bubbles. Look, you see all the bubbles there? All right, now that's nice and mixed together, we're ready to make our little contraption for blowing the bubble. So we don't need the lid, so let's go ahead and take the lid off. And then you're going to take the sock and you want to put it all the way to the end. So you want to get it as much to the end as possible, like that. Now there's a lot of sock here that you don't need, so we're just going to go ahead and cut it off. That's why I have my scissors here. This is why you want to make sure it's a sock that you don't mind throwing away because you're going to have to cut it up. Okay, so so far it looks like this. And then I don't have a rubber band, but I do have this little hair tie. Put it on here to make sure it holds it nice and tight. That way it doesn't come off. Okay. So I think that's it. I think we're ready to try out our bubble snake. Are you guys ready? Okay, so to make our bubbles, we are going to dip it into the water, the end of the sock like this. And now I'm gonna bring the camera up so you can see. Now watch, then you blow into the end. And look at all those bubbles. And if you want, you can add some drops of food coloring to the end of the sock. And when you blow it out, the bubbles will be colored. I didn't bring any food coloring with me, but if you wanna try it out, let me know how it works. And there you have it, your bubble snake. This is a great activity to do outdoors when it's nice and warm out. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.